here is our last problem. So this time we've got a minus 12 and a three. So let's now multiply minus 12 and three. So you're gonna get minus 36. And then we can write down all the factors. You're gonna get one and 36, minus one and 36, sorry, minus 36, uh, two and minus 18, and minus two and 18. We can now add these all up together. And I'm not gonna bother doing all the factors because it now should be apparent that you can see what once added together will equal the right value that you're looking for. So this is gonna be minus 35, this is gonna be 35, this is gonna be minus 16, and this is gonna be 16. So this is the pair that we're looking for. So now if we write three y squared plus two y, and we do minus 18y minus 12, we can then factorize these individually. So let's first take the first two parts and we can see that y is the only factor here. So you can pull that out. Then you repeat it again and you look and see what two values here um, do, can, do I need to put outside here to make them up, which is going to be a minus six because once minus six times by three y and minus six times two, that's gonna be minus 12 and that's gonna be minus 18 y. We then take these and put them together, three y plus two, everything outside the brackets would be y minus six.